and the horizontal plane which is, it is rotated in the 90 degree clockwise direction so the projection of the horizontal plane will be below the xy line the horizontal plane will be below the xy line that we have to remember now the next one if the point p lies in the vertical plane if the point p lies in the vertical plane then the p lies in the xy line same procedure if the point p lies in the vertical plane and when we see from the top view this is the point p which is lies in the vertical plane and its projection will be projected on the xy line so it will be on the xy line itself and if the point p lies behind the vertical plane the p lies be below the xy line means it is the front it is the in front of the point it is the behind of the point with respect to the vertical plane if, if any point lies behind the vertical plane and we see from the top view its projection will lie on the horizontal plane and the horizontal plane will be rotated 90 degree clockwise direction so that the point the projection of the point from the top view will lie in the will lie below x y now the projection of a point in the different quadrants the first condition a point a is above hp and in front of vp it is a pectoral view okay this is the condition for the point a when the point a is situated above hp and in front of vp so when the po when we see from the front front view in this condition the projection of the point from the front view will lies in the vertical plane as we can see in the pectoral view in the figure and the top view, when we see from the top view the top projection of the top view will lie in the horizontal plane the projection of the uh, top view sorry the projection of the front view will be denoted as a dash and the projection of the front view uh, top view will be denoted by a it is a pectoral view for the second condition the point a above horizontal plane and in vertical plane it is the xy line horizontal plane vertical plane okay the when the point a is situated above the horizontal plane and on the vertical plane as we can see in the figure then we will if we consider the projection in the front view then it will be applied on the vertical plane itself and we will be, and when we will see from the top view then its projection will be applied on the xy line now in the third case if the point a is in horizontal plane and in front of vertical plane in the second uh, in the second case the point a was in the vertical plane and above the horizontal plane but in the third case when the point a is in horizontal plane and in front of vertical plane as we can see in the figure then the projection of the front view will be on xy line and the projection of the top top view will be on the horizontal plane it is denoted by a dash and a by considering the front view and top view projections now after considering the pectoral presentations of the three conditions we will see the orthographic presentations of all the above three conditions for the first condition here in the first condition we will see that the point a dash is situated on the vertical plane that is on the xy line but the point a is situated on the horizontal plane now the horizontal plane is rotated in 90 degree clockwise direction so that after rotating in the 90 degree clockwise direction the point a will be below the xy line as we can see in the orthographic presentation so that the front view in the first uh, in the first case will be above xy line and top view will be below xy line in the second case the front view the projection of the front view that is a dash will lie on the vertical plane that is above xy line and the top view the projection of the top view will lie on the xy line that is we can see in the orthographic presentation that the front view above xy line and top view will be 
on the xy line that this orthographic projection projections are the main thing that we have to consider that we have to write we have to draw in the examination now for the th third case that is the point a in the horizontal plane and in front of vertical plane as we can see in the pectoral presentation the point a will lie on the horizontal plane when we can see from the top view and the point a dash will lie on the xy line now the point a sorry now the horizontal plane will be rotated in 90 degree clockwise direction so that the point a will be situated below the xy line and point a dash will lie on the xy line okay now the next one after the point we will study the projection of the straight line now the in the case of the projection of the straight line the inclination with the horizontal plane and vertical plane is to be considered and we have to find out the projection of the front view and top view and also we have to consider the pro the uh, horizontal plane and vertical plane in the angle form now these are the information regarding the position of its end with what uh, horizontal plane and its inclination our aim to draw the projection means the front view and top view we have to draw the projections of the front view and top view for the first case first of all i have to give the introduction about the line for example as we can see in the projection of the we had seen in the projection of the points these are first quadrant second quadrant third quadrant and fourth quadrant now instead of the point we will consider a line Consider this pen as a line which has two end points that is point A and point B. Now there may be different conditions for the situation of the line uh, line AB. This point this pen is a line AB. For example, when the line AB is situated in the first quad uh, first quadrant, there may be different conditions. That is, it may be parallel to the vertical plane. This is the parallel to vertical plane it may be parallel to the horizontal plane vertical plane horizontal plane it may be inclined with the horizontal plane that is this line ab may be inclined with the horizontal plane or it may be inclined with the vertical plane this is the angle of inclination this is the angle of inclination with the vertical plane and it is the angle of inclination with the horizontal plane same for the second quadrant third quadrant and fourth quadrant it may be with the parallel to uh, it may be parallel to the vertical plane horizontal plane it may be uh, incline uh, it may be at some angle with of inclination with the horizontal plane or vertical plane as the condition arises now we will see the line a perpendicular to the horizontal plane and parallel to the vertical plane that is in the first con condition the line a a line ab will be perpendicular to the horizontal plane and parallel to the vertical plane that is it may be per this is the horizontal plane so the line ab will be perpendicular to the horizontal plane it, this is the horizontal plane it will be in the ninth perpendicular means at 90 degree and the line ab is parallel to the vertical plane so we have to find out the projection of this line ab by considering the top view and front view for the first case we will see the pectoral presentation xy line front view sorry vertical plane horizontal plane this is the line ab as i had represented earlier this is the line ab now we will find the front view and top view of this line ab that is the projection of line ab this is the line ab First of all, we will observe from the front view and the projection of the front view will arise on the vertical plane. It is a projection of the vertical plane on the vertical plane and it is denoted by A dash and B dash. Same from the top view. When we can see, when we can see, uh, if you have to see from the top view, then the projection of the line ab will arise will be observed only as a point if you can see from the top view then 
the projection will arise simply as a point from the top view and its projection will be fallen on the horizontal plane see as you can see from the top view then the its projection will be arise on the horizontal plane and it is denoted by ab why ab because it is a projection of the line ab now for the second case when a line parallel to the horizontal plane and parallel to the vertical plane so when any line that is line ab parallel to the vertical plane when a line ab parallel to the vertical plane and also parallel to the horizontal plane it may be of and it it may be in any dimension at any distance from the vertical plane and horizontal plane we have to find the presentation that is the projection of the front view and the top view with respect to the vertical plane and horizontal plane it is a pictorial presentation okay line ab is situated in the horizontal plane and vertical plane which is parallel to both the horizontal plane and vertical plane we will see its front view the projection of the front view will be applied on the vertical plane and this projection will be named as a dash and b dash now we, we will see from the top view the projection of the top view will be applied on the horizontal plane and its name is a and b so we can we can see that the projection in the second case will be parallel to both x y line means the projection of front view and top view will be parallel to the x y line that in the first case the projection of the front view will be perpendicular to the x y line and in the in the in the projection of the top view in the first case will be at point only that is point a b now we will see the orthographic pattern for the first case here the front, the projection of the front view will apply above the xy line that is in the vertical plane and when the vertical when the horizontal plane in which the projection of the top view is applied as a point ab will be rotated in the 90 degree clockwise direction so the point ab which is the projection of the top view will be below the xy line here the front view is vertical line so in the true length and the top view is the is a point now in the second case the orthographic pattern will be xy line sorry the front view will parallel to xy line that is a dash and b dash will be above the xy line and the projection of the top view will also parallel to xy line but it will below the xy line in the horizontal plane so front view and top view both are parallel to xy line and both shows the true length now we will study the third case a line inclined to the horizontal plane and parallel to the vertical plane so in the third case the line will be inclined to the horizontal plane and parallel to the vertical plane this is the horizontal plane the line inclined to the horizontal plane at any angle and it may it will be parallel to the vertical plane we will see its pictorial presentation it is a horizontal plane vertical plane the line is at any angle any required angle from the horizontal plane and parallel to the vertical plane it is line ab and always when the line ab makes an angle with the horizontal plane it is indicated it is denoted as theta when the projection of the point a and b is kept from the front view then its projection will be applied on the vertical plane this projection on the vertical plane is said to be as the projection of the front view and it may be, it will be at any angle from the xy line as we can see in the figure now we will consider the top view the projection of the top view will be on the horizontal plane 
it is denoted by AB it is the orthographic pattern orthographic projection for the case 3 that is we can see the projection of the front view that is when the line is inclined at any angle from the horizontal plane its projection will also be at any angle that is at angle theta from the horizontal plane which is kept above with which will be above the xy line at any angle theta now when when the horizontal plane which is the projection of the top view is rotated at 90 degree clockwise direction so that the true value the true length of the line ab will be below the xy line in the fourth case now we will consider the fourth case a line inclined to the vertical plane and parallel to the horizontal plane now it is the inverse case of the it is the inverse case of case number 3 in the case number 3 it was a line inclined to the horizontal plane and parallel to the vertical plane in case number 4 a line will be inclined to the vertical plane and parallel to the horizontal plane so we can see from the model the line it is the vertical plane it is the vertical plane now the line will be inclined at any angle okay at any angle with the vertical plane and it will be parallel to the horizon it will be parallel to the horizontal plane at inclined at any angle with the vertical plane in the case number four we will see its factorial presentation see it is at any angle that is line a b is situated at any angle on the vertical plane and it is parallel to the horizontal plane now when the angle when a line AB makes an angle with the vertical plane it is denoted by angle phi first of all we will see its top view then the top view will be projected on the horizontal plane and it is denoted as line AB now the line AB on the top view will be at angle phi when we see the front view the front view the projection of the front view will be applied on the vertical plane and it is parallel to the xy line which is denoted as a dash and b dash okay now we will see the orthographic projection